Hi, this is Coggett, and I want to say happy 4th of July to everybody out there in YouTube land and including all my subscribers. I hope you have a happy and safe 4th of July. Uh, what I'm going to be doing is for 4th of July is I'm going to be making myself uh, some hickory smoke pulled chicken. If you never had this, it's great. It's similar to that of, of pulled pork, but it's just uh, chicken instead. And there, I'm going to make this video in probably about four or five parts. And uh, the first part is going to be uh, the brine. Uh, what I'm going to do is I got some chicken breasts. And I'm going to brine the chicken breast. And I'll show you, uh, show you how to go about doing that if, if you're not familiar with brining. It's very simple. And by vi uh, brining the chicken, what it does is it breaks down the tissues inside the chicken and keeps it moist while you're smoking it on the smoker so it doesn't dry out on you and become rubbery. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, we'll get started on this and I'll show you how, how the brine works and what you need and uh, go from there. What I've got here is I've got a, a gallon uh, freezer bag, what I'm going to put the chicken in to brine it, and uh, a bowl. And over here what I've got is I've got my chicken, and what I'm using is chicken breasts. I like the white meat. I don't like the dark. You can use uh, thigh meat uh, if you want, and that's fine. Uh, any type of chicken you, you like, go ahead and use. I just happen to like the breast part, and uh, that's what I'm going to going to do. And over here, what we have, we have the uh, the brine solution. What we're we're going to put in water. I've got the water the water over here, and we're going to mix it up real good and put it in. What this is is it's a half a cup. We're we're going to use about a half a gallon of brining solution. So what I've got is I've got a uh, half a cup of kosher salt and a half a cu cu cup of sugar. And that's that's the brine. It's just uh, kosher salt and sugar. And uh, I've got the white sugar. You can use brown if you like. It's up to you. And I'm going to go ahead and get this brine started and uh, show you how, how it works out here. Give me a spoon to stir it with. You just pour this in the water. And just stir it up and make sure that it's all dissolved up. And I'm going to add a little bit more water. Uh, I want to make sure that I had, a, had enough uh, uh, clearance when I put my... Uh, salt and sugar in. So I'm going to add just a little bit more water to it. We just mix it up really good and it looks like it's pretty well mixed up. And something else is, is uh, on your on the chicken breast, when you get it, what you want to do is you want to wash it off. Uh, wash off the chicken breast and then just put them on a pan like I have with tin foil. Uh, by washing it off, you're getting like, uh, if there's bone fragments or what, uh, whatever's in, like what the butcher, whenever he's cutting it up, possibility if he used a saw, he might, might have to get a little bone in there. You don't want to... Uh, bite into that. I'll tell you that. Well, like I say, we just got a freezer bag here. Let me lower this a little bit down here. And we just put the chicken breast inside the bag. We're going to do that first. And hopefully it'll hold all the the breast. If not, then I'll get me another bag, but I think it probably will. Force my 
hand off here. Oh, by the way, my hands were clean. I just got through washing them. And then we're going to pour the brine in. In the bag. You want this just so that it's uh, covered. And then we're going to seal the bag. This is maybe a little bit more. Then we seal the bag, and what we're going to do with the uh, chicken is just leave it, leave it like this. But we're putting it in the fridge. We're putting it back into the refrigerator, and it's going to sit. In, in the brine solution for three hours. After three hours, we'll be taking it out, and that's when you want to season it up. Uh, something else on this brine, uh, what I forgot to tell you, you don't have to use uh, just kosher salt and, and sugar. You can put whatever you like in there. If you like, like it hot, you can put a cayenne, uh, you can put lemon, you can put uh, just uh, it's whatever you like. You, I mean, and what, what uh, you put in there is the way the chicken is going to come out tasting because it's going to absorb the flavor of the brine. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and get this in the fridge and uh, like I say just let it sit there for three hours and on the brine solution what I used it was one half cup kosher salt and one half cu a cup sugar and uh, water and that's it uh, like a half almost a half a gallon of water. Uh, I appreciate you watching and I'll have the second video coming up and I'll uh, show you how to, how to get this brine solution off and everything and, and uh, what you need to do from there when, when you go to add the seasonings. And I'll explain more, more in the second video. Sounds like I'm getting a sore throat. Ugh. Uh, I appreciate everybody out there watching and uh, have a happy 4th of July. And I'll be back with a second video, and y'all take care.